Hello, 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 and welcome back to Kitchen Table Talks with Kat, episode three. Today's episode will be one of my special interests. I'm going to share my collection of Vera Bradley bags and the reason why I collect them, where I find them, and why they bring me joy. I'm using this one right now as my everyday bag. As I show you on the back, there's a pocket right there, and that's one reason I like these bags, especially because there's so many pockets. You think you found one pocket, like it's obviously there with a zipper, and then when you open it up, you're like, okay, there's just that extra pocket there, but then you open it up, and there's like a line pocket in case you want to use it as a wallet, put all your credit cards, and another shallow pocket right there and another zipper pouch. So you'll be able to separate everything that you need in this bag without losing any room. That's one reason I enjoy it. And also I like using it because it has a long strap for being a cross crossbody bag. Now this next one I just got this past weekend and I'm so excited I was able to find one. I was looking for one that reminded me of the old bags of the 70s where they kind of look like a saddle bag. It has the rings to hold the handle and I'm showing you how wide across the bag is actually. It has a magnetic front. It has two pockets that do not have any magnets but they're right there for easy access. And then when you open it up, I tried my best to get the light in there. There's a zipper pocket on one side and then on the other side, there are some, um, she likes doing um, just cloth pockets. So you can put your cell phone or other items that you need. There's a lot of room in there for anything else that you'll need to carry in. I was thinking this would be a great one to use for um, putting my journaling stuff in if I ever go to do cafe journaling. How cute is this wallet? I. I just, I couldn't pass it up. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use that as a wallet or if I'm gonna use it as a part of my trip when I wanna put some stationary items in a cute little thing to take with me on my trip. Details later. But how adorable is this? I don't think it's ever been used. It's sat in line for where the coin purse is, but it's see-through in the middle. So you'll be able to see everything instead of guessing back and forth if you've lost something. There's a little pocket on either side underneath each of the uh, places where I'm gonna put credit cards. But for me, I could see stash of washi there. It is just so adorable. Now this is a backpack. I tried to get it close enough so you can see the detail, but far away enough so you can see the size of it. It's an average size backpack. It has a side pocket for a water bottle on either side or your cell phone. It has two straps that are somewhat padded and adjustable straps. Also, as you can tell, there's a holder at the top. It has a front pouch that has a magnetic um, snap, and then it's just a full pocket. There's nothing hidden in that one. I love, love these colors. I'm looking forward to using this one definitely on my next trip. Inside, it's satin lined, so you have to be careful not to spill anything in there. One side's just completely satin lined, and the other side has a couple pockets. Um, I believe maybe size for, or size for your cell phone, for a couple pens, and then some other items that you do not want to go missing down deep into backpacks, as you always know they do. This one also matches the very first Vera Bradley bag I got, and I cannot wait to show you that one. Before I do, I wanna show you this one. This is one of my other short handle bags. I'm trying to show you how it stands on its own. It still had the original cardboard bottom insert to it. I guess the other ones, people took them out when they washed them and never put them back. It has a side magnetic pocket, which is awesome for when I look in my pockets and then I can close it right away knowing that nothing will get lost. It has the traditional outside flat pocket, which also uses as the flap for the whole bag. 
It's kind of two-sided in the very middle. I'll try my best with the light here that has a long zipper pouch. And then on the either side of it, it has um, the traditional, I guess you would call credit card slide pockets. As you can tell, I'm waiting to see if I can use my flashlight to give you a little better look at it, but the flashlight doesn't give it justice. But once again, there are numerous places for you to store things in these bags without having to worry about losing any items. Does anyone else use these Vera Bradley bags? I would love to know in the comments below if you've watched the video this far, if you do, and which one is your favorite and where have you found them? Promise we're getting close to the very first one I ever bought. This is a flat side, I guess, bag. I don't know the names of these bags and I'm not gonna go down that rabbit hole, but one reason I like it is that there is, when you wear it across your body with the long strap, there is a zipper pocket where you can put things that you don't want anyone to try to get to right next to your leg. And then the other side, I think there's a zipper. And then it has the traditional little zipper pouch inside and then a couple other little places where you can place things where you can reach in and get to it quickly. The lighting was not working with my camera today, but this is one of my other favorites I use. Okay, I have passed out, passed by many wallets, but when I saw this one, I saw a Traveler's Notebook cover where you can slide pieces of paper and washi tape and stickers. And then in the back pocket to the right where you could slip the cover, you know, the back cover of your traveler's notebook to get, um, hold it down. There's a pocket for some more stickers or ephemera. And then in the top or the front of it, ah, there is more. Sorry, I'm so excited. I just got this and I just cannot wait to try it out and probably bring it along my, on my trip. All right, thanks for watching and look at, here it is, the very first Vera Bradley bag I bought at St. Vincent de Paul for $9.99. No joke, no joke at all. Recognize the pattern? Yep, same pattern as my backpack. This one, I instantly gaga over. There, I'm showing you. <laughs> um, at the time when I bought it, I, I'm getting back into knitting and a little granny square crochet, but I'm like, how much yarn can I put in this bag and take with me? And then I'm like, well, wait, I could do that. Plus I could put my journaling stuff in it. See how it opens up and there's those pockets to the left or at the top of the screen now. And then the other side, the infamous zipper pockets that she puts in the bags. But on either side of it, there's two more magnetic bags. I think I showed you it already, but I, I just love it. And that is what got me started on collecting these. Okay, where I live, we have a plethora of Goodwills. I don't know if you live in places that have plethora of Goodwills. That's where I found all my other bags. A lot of times they're usually the green tags and I never make it on a green tag day when it's 50% off. If you're a thrifter of Goodwill, you'll know this each day or certain days. I used to know more about it because my eldest son used to work at Goodwill while he was in college. And I just, I wasn't really into thrifting just then, but then I noticed they're always green tagged on the bags. Well, I think it was the pink one I told you I just got. That one was yellow tag and it was a yellow tag day. So I'm like, yeah, score. So I bought that one for um, half off so then I had to buy the wallet because that one was half off too and um, usually they average between six dollars up to nineteen dollars depending I spent nineteen dollars on the backpack and um, you have to be careful there's some of them that will treat these bags like they are um, Gucci or those other fancy fancy ones and they'll have them locked up behind glass and stuff but if you go to your regular haunts of goodwills there's always there's always some of those bags so now you know um where i get them and the reason i started collecting them is because i've been seeing more and more of them 
and they do bring me joy. I think the bright colors, the pockets. I grew up loving pockets of stuff. My mom, when she'd make us bags and stuff, she'd always put extra pockets in it so we could put all of our items in there. And it's just something. It's an inexpensive hobby to have. So thank you so much for joining me today at Kitchen Table Talks with Kat, Episode 3. And until next time, talk to you then.